हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू योर डिजिटल क्लासरूम सो हाउ इज एवरी वन डूइंग टूडे आई होप यू ऑल आर फिट एंड फाइन स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दी पोम फायर एंड आइस बाय रॉबर्ट फ्रॉस्ट दिस पोम फायर एंड आइस एक्सप्रेसिस द आइडिया दैट समे द वर्ल्ड वुड आई द एंड बाय फायर or by ice now let's try to understand the poem beginning with stanza 1 some say the world will end in fire some say in ice from what i have tasted of desire i hold with those who favor fire students in the first stanza the poet analyzes the views of the people and states that there can be two possibilities or two causes for the end of the world on one side there are people who believe that the world will end because of fire here it is to be noted that fire represents the extreme desire anger greed etc now there is another group which favor ice here ice represents the human emotions of hatred intolerance etc so they believe that the temperature will drop down so low that life on earth would become impossible and it will have the same catastrophic disastrous effect the poet compares fire and ice with the human emotions of desire and hatred respectively then he goes on to explain that based on his experiences he favors the people who believe that the world will get destroyed by fire the poet has tried to explain that when the human emotions go unchecked they get beyond one's control the effect or the result is complete disorder now we move on to stanza 2 but if it had to perish twice i think i know enough of hate to say that for destruction ice is also great and would suffice students in the second stanza the poet tries to say that if the world has to expire twice ice would be equally capable in destroying it as capable as fire then he goes on to draw a comparison between ice and hatred the insensitivity and hatred among humans has the capacity for inner destruction it is slow yet steady yet it has the same effect that desire has on us so the poet says that ice would be as capable as destructive and it can also go on to destroy the world so that was stanza 2 i hope you have understood now let us talk about the central idea of the poem the poem explains that when human emotions go unchecked they can become disastrous if they are not checked if they are not controlled they can be catastrophic because unchecked human emotions can lead to a person's moral mental and physical destruction the poet says that bearing ill feelings like greed avarice lust conflict fury hatred intolerance etc will prove destructive for the earth and one day they will go on to destroy the world completely so students i hope you have understood the poem and the central idea so until next time take good care of yourselves and happy learning bye bye